COVID-19 has been a destructive force for the entire globe throughout 2020 and into 2021. It's crippled economies, delayed plans for the future, and signaled a new dawn for how humans interact. The virus remains contagious, dangerous, and has claimed the lives of millions around the planet. The hope is that vaccines are able to suppress the spread of the illness and make it something we're able to control, like the flu. Slowly, it seems like humanity is starting to win the battle, but there is a threat that through mutations and the sheer scale of the virus that COVID-19 is something that we need to live with for the foreseeable future, in whatever guise it comes in. This video is going to look at a possibility that COVID lasts forever and what that means for us. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. First off, it's worth noting that highly transmittable diseases that have the capacity to kill people are fairly common globally. The point is with most of these, we have the ability to control them at a relatively low cost. When a disease like this lingers around forever, it's known as endemic. Malaria is a good example of an endemic disease. It's common around large parts of Africa and South America, and it's estimated that half the population is at risk of catching the illness. The difference between something like malaria and COVID is that it's not spreading out of control and there are drugs readily available to remedy it. At the time of this video, COVID-19 is still in a pandemic state, in that it is still spreading globally and only very extreme measures seem to be able to stop it. The hope is that recent vaccine approval will lead to a global program to get as many vulnerable people vaccinated as possible. Once those most at risk of dying have been proved to be immune, then life can start to go back to what it was before COVID dominated everything. The challenge is to get it from a pandemic state to an endemic state, where we are aware of the risks, but it's not a danger of spiraling out of control, just like malaria. So there's actually quite a high chance that COVID-19 will be around forever, just like the fact that flu and malaria aren't going away anytime soon. But this is common. It's rare for a disease to be completely eradicated. Instead, it gets managed and we learn to deal with it. We're clearly not there yet with COVID. Our guidance to wash our hands, wear masks and distance is not only partially effective, but it's not sustainable with a modern world. More is being done to get to a point where ourselves and COVID can live side by side without the current risk of life. So, the first step will be much the same as we're dealing with today. Guidance will remain to wash hands, wear masks and stay away from people while vaccines are rolled out globally. It's thought that a vaccine may well be the only guarantee that we get immunity to those who need it most. There was a school of thought that suggested that contracting the disease developed immunity, like with a lot of illnesses, such as chickenpox, where children are encouraged to catch it at an early age, when it's less harmful. There was talk of herd immunity to promote this and allow people to catch it, become immune, and stop the spread. But as time goes on, it appears that, like the flu, there's a possibility that people can catch it multiple times and that natural immunity is time-limited. This simply isn't good enough to protect the vulnerable. Therefore, until nations can be confident that the most at risk are immune by using synthetic solutions, then things will stay mostly as they are. But even with the vaccine solution, this might not be enough for lifetime immunity. We simply don't know yet if the vaccine provides this until more research can be conducted further down the line. There's also a threat that other strains of the illness may penetrate the vaccine's barrier and the planet is back to square one. There's a possibility that a vaccination program may have to be annual for high-risk people, like the flu vaccine is today. In an effort to keep on top of COVID and allow restrictions to be lifted, then this might be something that becomes routine for us. Away from vaccines, there are also positive developments in how we're learning to control the symptoms of the illness. Therapeutics are being developed, and once these are at a level where they can reduce the risk of death, like current endemics have now, then the world can have more confidence that there is a remedy that guarantees the death rate will fall. This would be a game changer in reducing current restrictions in tandem with an effective vaccine. With both effective vaccines and effective treatment in place, it's likely that a vast majority of the population will resume life as normal, assuming that these reduce the death rate as anticipated. However, for the high-risk category, such as the elderly, then they may still have to take precautions indefinitely. Masks might be a requirement. As well as reducing the contact they have with people at certain times of the year. As there is a high possibility that the virus will be with us forever, but with a far lower infection rate. 
then a minority of those most affected may have to continue measures annually that we've all had to live with for the past year. But this is all assuming the virus is controlled from nation to nation. The last thing to go back to normal is likely to be overseas travel. Because of the extra logistical challenges to be able to control a virus from country to country, the nations are likely to be cautious when opening up borders again. It's likely that temperature checks and negative test results are likely to be as common as a passport at border controls in the future. This is until the planet has the statistical confidence that we have a handle on the virus. So this is what would happen if COVID-19 lasts forever. It's very likely to happen, but what is likely to change are the restrictions that come with the pandemic status. The current challenge is to get COVID to an endemic illness. When we do that, then we should be able to live side by side with it, albeit with the possibility of annual vaccinations and extra measures for the vulnerable, just like we do with many illnesses we've had to learn to live with. What do you think about our future of living with COVID? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.